Right. Hey guys, I'm Steve Santamaro, head boys coach, head girls coach at James Madison High School, head coach at uh, Brooklyn Landmark Elementary School. I'm here wrestling at Step in a Circle. Um, what's my first question? All right, so, um, <laughs> I forgot already. No, no, it's all good. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to know how you got involved with the sport right. of wrestling, you know, um, how it's instrumental in your life. So, you know, if you started in middle school and then, you know, where you got to where you are today and what wrestling means to you as a whole. Take, take it easy. Yeah, so I started wrestling when I was a junior in high school. I had a bunch of friends that joined as a sophomore, some friends from my old middle school. Um, so I joined up as a junior, fell in love with the sport. I had great teammates, great guidance from Coach Campbell, and um, really made it a positive environment. Wrestling helped me tremendously. Uh, right after I graduated, I knew I wanted to stay with the sport. I wanted to keep coaching, so I went back as a volunteer assistant. Uh, Beat the Streets has helped me tremendously. Uh, it's helped me grow as a coach. Uh, it's helped me grow my knowledge about the sport so I could help more kids. Um, they've helped me start up a middle school program at Cunningham. They've helped me start up a program at the school I teach at now, Brooklyn Landmark. And they provide so many opportunities for my kids in high school, my little ones in my elementary school to get better. So this event, Step in the Circle, is the second year I'm doing it. Uh, I think it's, a, it's an excellent fundraiser. It's a great opportunity for people in New York City or people around New York City to come get on the mats again. But uh, what it means to New York City youth, uh, all the money that they're raising goes towards their, their camps, their SAT preps, their competitions, travel, and we're just trying to even the uh, playing field with some other kids around the state. That's awesome, you know. Personally, I remember um, starting, you know, um, wrestling at this camp called Beat the Streets Top of the Podium Camp in Little uh, Little World. You know, you were my first coach technically, so I remember that back in the day. Um, you know, you give back to the sport a lot, which is great. You know, like a kid like me, I still remember what you did, you know, so I have high praise for you. Um, but your kids also look up to you as well. You know, you have young guys. Um, so what is, you know, as a coach, what does it mean to you to you know, see little guys or, or people like me that you first start with and then seeing them, you know, get to where they are, you know? Yeah, it's, um, I look young, but I've been coaching a long time. I graduated in 2009, and like you just said, I've been coaching at these Beat the Streets camps uh, year after year after year. Uh, they sent me to the top of the podium camp, Edinburgh, all these different camps. I've been a counselor at, a clinician at. Uh, but to see kids like yourself or see kids back in the day in 2010, 11, 12, watching them grow up and watching them become just studs in the city and doing damage around the state, it's definitely a tremendous amount of pride. Um, I love going around tournaments in New York City and having kids from other schools, other boroughs, walk up to me, shake my hand. They know me. They remember moves I taught them. Uh, to be honest, half the times I don't remember them, but they remember me. So it's, uh, it's good to make an impact on so many different kids around the city. Definitely. Thank you very much. You got it.